If you're like most people, when you try and load a Nintendo cartridge into a NES, you'll push it in, you'll open it up, push it in, click it down, turn the system on, and if it works, it works, and if it doesn't work, you'll take it out, blow into it, and try again. This is not the best way to do it. Blowing into the cartridge doesn't actually help anything, in fact, the moisture from your breath might just make things worse. Um, the only way blowing into the cartridge would help is if there was actually dust in it, and unless you can visibly see dust, it's probably not an issue. The main problem with a NES anyway is that people push the cartridge in too far. So the contacts on the cartridge go past the contacts in the system and they don't line up. So the best way to put the cartridge in so that it works almost every time is you want to put it in and then as soon as you start to feel resistance you want to push down. Now you're not going to be able to push it down all the way because the cartridge isn't in far enough. So you want to just gently push it very slowly until you're able to push the cartridge down so that it clicks. Just like that. Um, that might work for you. Um, if it doesn't, you might want to push it in just a little bit more about the width of maybe a credit card so if you could slip a credit card between the, con the console and the cartridge that's probably about the width you want and then you want to nudge it just a little bit to the left I'm not sure why nudging it to the left helps but it it does and you close your system and you turn it on and that should work 95% of the time 